Even imagine what that's like walking right. 3,000 miles straight. Wow. Walking three miles straight is <laughs> taxing. Yeah, like exactly. literally, like that's a that's impressive. Still, that'd be an interesting experience. It I would mean, be very interesting going across no the doubt. entire country that way. It's like a modern day forest. Cool. I was I was thinking that very thing <laughs> at, at a slower it. pace. Yeah, right. Exactly. <laughs> well, weather wise around here, you might want to slow your pace down here in the next couple of days to adjust to the warmer temperatures that are headed our way. We started to warm up a little bit yesterday. We got up to 79 out of SeaTac. Still pretty nice after. You know, there we're going to warm up today and so for some folks it's just going to be a warm day other pe people will feel like it's a hot day out there take a look out at our tower cam uh, there in i believe it's i'm not sure where that is actually it's probably tacoma but it's too dark to tell or to worry about it. clear skies everywhere across western washington out of the airport this morning we do have a pretty good backup there on the departure deck and clear skies to start off the day in fact to finish the day as well. Not a whole lot going on in the skies today. Husky Stadium still looking for maybe starting to see the first glimmer of some light out in the distance, but sunrise actually not till almost 630 now, so uh, probably not uh, anything to worry about at this point. Checking temperatures, pretty mild morning anywhere from the mid to, to upper 50s, most spots, but a few places that are, are down a little bit cooler again as usual. Wishka Valley and 48, Clallam Bay at 48 degrees, so a little bit of a range there, but everybody's going to warm up pretty nicely today with the, the uh, offshore winds beginning to kick in. University of Washington model showing that the winds across the Cascades starting to become more easterly. Still have that northerly wind, which is going to stay with us through today and tomorrow. So if you're right near the sound, you won't be quite as hot as places away from the sound. You'll get a little bit of ventilation there offshore along the coastal beaches during the day today and heating up pretty nicely. Those temperatures getting into the uh, mid to maybe some upper 80s as we head towards this afternoon with the hottest temperatures out towards the Cascade foothills. Pretty warm day out there along the coastal beaches as well. As we slide into uh, Wednesday, we're going to probably be warmer along the, uh, the interior of western Washington. We'll see probably see some places hit that 90 degree mark tomorrow near the Cascade foothills. You see the offshore winds though have started to diminish and go away and north winds continuing there and then as we head on into Thursday we're going to start to see a little bit of onshore wind begin to kick in and that is going to help to cool us down still in the upper 70s and low 80s and then cooling some more as we head into the weekend. So basically for today sunny skies temperatures getting into the mid to maybe some upper 80s mid to upper 80s to near 90 degrees for tomorrow. We'll cool a little bit to be some showers in the South Cascades tomorrow highs around 80. We'll see some middle and high clouds from that same system morning clouds and Sunshine Friday and Saturday, upper 70s to near 80 degrees. Partly sunny with some showers on Sunday, probably more showers on Labor Day, and temperatures dropping back to the low to mid 70s to wrap up the holiday weekend. Not the best of timing to have those showers come in towards the end of the weekend, but there they are.